what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A Los Angeles promoter was knocked out cold for allegedly being a janky promoter and stealing $15,000. It looked like the incident happened either at a large house or some type of hotel setting. But that's not important. The details are not important. What's important is that a promoter got knocked out over some money, inappropriately handling money, allegedly. Here's why I wanted to talk about this. Now, I'm gonna show the video to my Patreon followers. I'm not gonna post it on YouTube or Facebook because they're gonna flag the video. They always do me like that. So, but I am gonna run this story by y'all. I'm gonna let you know, a lot of times, you guys don't know what's going on when you pay your money to see these shows and the artists don't show or the artists come out late or the artists go on stage and do 10 minutes, five minutes and he gone. Most cases, it's because the promoter didn't take care of his business. Either the promoter didn't have all the money Maybe there was a, a more than one promoter and one of the promoters took off with the money that was made. It's all kind of situations that occur. <laughs> I can't lie. Sometimes it's the artist's fault when things go wrong at these shows. Some of these artists have horrible work ethics. They show up intoxicated, high out of their minds. They bring their personal battles to the venue. I mean, they're just toxic. Very difficult to be around. Very difficult to work with. So it's not always the promoter's fault, but in many cases, it is. Especially if the artist never shows up at all. You see, what happens is that Oftentimes, a promoter will pay the deposit to get an artist to come to town. That deposit is normally half of the artist's fee. But in some cases, the promoter never even contacts the artist at all. They just do a phantom show. And then you have cases where the promoter will contact somebody he thinks that is the artist's representative and he sends that money to the so-called agent or manager. And of course, the artist never shows up because the artist don't even know about the show. <laughs> With that in mind, the best way to protect yourself from getting ripped off when you're buying tickets to see your favorite artist is to purchase your tickets from a reputable vendor or venue. If you're unfamiliar with that venue, especially the venue, you need to make sure that you do your research. Go online, do a search, pull up the website. If it's a reputable venue, it will have a website and calendar of previous events. Check it out. See what people are saying about the venue. See what they're saying about the promoter. Another reputable source is the website and social media platforms of an artist. I know when it comes to myself and the Ghetto Boys, if you don't see it on our websites, it's not happening. The social media thing is a little different because social media, you know, we're posting stuff, several things a day. So a date can get lost on social media. Typically, on the day of, we'll post something. I'll post something, definitely. If I got something going on in the city, I'll post something that day. But the website of an artist is very reliable. 
So you may want to check that out. <laughs> Do your due diligence. And but last but not least, if you feel funny about it, but you really, really want to go, pay at the door. But not until you get a confirmation that that artist is inside of the building. Got to be sure of that. Now, back in the early 90s, Ghetto Boys had a show in Jacksonville, Mississippi. I mean, sorry, Jackson, Mississippi. We pull up on this dirt road and there's a field to the right and the venue is to the left and it's a huge field in front of it and it's cars everywhere. I mean, everywhere. This is when my mind playing tricks was out. So that's the number one song in the country. So. We're in high demand. It's jam packed. We pull up in the limo. That's when people were ride, still riding in limousines. We pull up in the limo. Our manager goes inside to get the money. He comes back and says, hey man, they don't have all the money. What y'all wanna do? <laughs> I'm like, fuck you mean they ain't got the, they got the money and we want it. So, me and my cousin Dre, we go inside with the heaters. Let him know it's real serious. Now we get inside his office, dude sitting back behind the desk like a big shot, like, hey man, I ain't got all the money. What y'all gonna do? Man, when he saw it was serious, I was like, say, motherfucker, you gonna pay up or lay down? So he got the picture called one of his workers in. They came with all the money. No problem. We go do the show. Kill it, of course. Get off stage. Get in the limousine. Head to the hotel. Now, thinking back on that. That was a felony. <sighs> but this is the type of things that happens with promoters all the time. This stuff happens all the time. So that's just a little insight, y'all. I didn't mean for it to be that long, but I had to paint the picture for you. Anyway, y'all be safe out there. And watch out for them janky-ass promoters. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah. Tell me about it.